Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well and today I'm going to do a video talk about one of the biggest risks that I see in the stock market at the moment. Now what we are seeing at the moment is a lot of indexes hitting all time highs where a lot of other stocks that are a bit smaller market caps, maybe growth stocks, aren't doing so well. Now I have been taking that opportunity to buy them stocks but there is one thing in the background that I'm thinking about and I'm just being careful of and if this risk that I am seeing actually does happen this could cause a few more problems. So it's quite often I kind of have a lot of thoughts going on with the stock market and it, I always forget to not like, I don't really share them all the time, but uh, this is one that I've been thinking about, but then I realized it wasn't until a live stream that I actually thought, oh, I've actually not talked about this. And uh, it's one thing that I'm being careful of. And I thought, you know what? It's actually a really good one to do a video on, just to say, this is why I'm being very cautious at the moment. Even though I'm buying the dip, I'm still keeping plenty of cash in case this happens. So I'm gonna share that with you today. So what happened is Graham posted this question and it was on the live Q&A session on the Patreon on Tuesday. So what we do normally on Tuesday on the Patreon is we do a live Q&A session that lasts about half an hour. Uh, and this was Tuesday's uh, session. Now what happened is Graham actually asked a really good question and you might be able to see it, there's uh, this in the way, but he basically went on to say, am I worried about the growth stocks? And if basically the big tech or the S&P or the indexes start selling off because at the moment the index the lot of the growth stocks for market caps are already selling off but when you look at the indexes they're holding up but if the indexes fall off what would happen to them growth stocks would people rotate into them growth stocks or if the indexes drop will them growth stocks go even lower and that was a really good question so where uh, this is what i want to talk about because it's something i've been considering but then i realized that i've not really said it to anyone uh that this is something that I am kind of considering right now. And just a side note, I mean, look at this here. You can see uh, there's been a fair few buys this week on the on the, the uh, Patreon, as you can see. I'll update you guys on the YouTube uh, if you're not aware in a few days' time, but we'll take a look at this. So as you probably know, a lot of the big tech has done absolutely fantastic. I mean, look at Microsoft. I mean, this is absolutely crazy, the run it's been on. And even this year, absolutely fantastic year, up 60%, uh, market cap of 2.5 trillion, P ratio of 37. Uh, the likes of Apple, once again, another stock that's doing very well in the stock market, keeping the uh, indexes going up, uh, P ratio of 28, and this is normally down at like an 18 as well. Uh, Nvidia, once again, another stock that's holding up quite well for the indexes. Uh, if we go year to date here, I mean, look at that, 149%. Well done if you're a Nvidia shareholder. But the problem is, is that it is a 100 P ratio right now, and this normally trades around like a 40 ish, uh, which is absolutely bonkers. So there's a lot of stocks kind of propping up. The stock market where you kind of don't see what's going on with a few other stocks and like if you look at the indexes you'll see the indexes are really strong as well at the moment you know the indexes pretty much look a lot like the microsoft the nvidia the apple charts the indexes are hiding uh, a lot of the pain that's going on in a lot of the growth stocks and small market cap stocks now this is the question what will happen to these grow growth stocks and small market cap stocks if this doesn't happen what would happen if we say we went from here 4700 what happens if uh, we have a 5% drop on that what happens if we have a 10% drop on that what will happen to them growth stocks or those small market cap stocks if we were to have a 5 10 15 20% pullback in them th these indexes what would happen to the growth stocks then? And that is something that I'm considering. Now we're gonna go back on a bit of a history lesson. Now a lot of you guys might not be uh, watching my channel back in 2018. In fact, some of you might not be even really investing in 2018. But if you were, uh, shout out to you, you must have been following the channel for a, a long time. But um, when we went into 2018, we basically came off the back of a really good 2017. Uh, 2017 was a, a pretty good year for the stock market. Uh, when we got into 2018, uh, there was a few concerns going around, uh, basically what's kind of been going on around about now. There's like a lot of these ch the China FUD going on, uh, a little bit worries about the economy and stuff like that. A uh, few things that we kind of got very similar year to what we had in 2018. And in 2018, it was a little bit choppy. You can see that we didn't really have a pretty good start to the year and actually by the end of the year we were actually down and um, i think the actual stock market closed at one point 19.8 percent down so it actually never got registered as an actual stock market crash but it was very close to being a stock market crash but 2018 was a, a not a great year in the stock market it was the last negative year i believe that we've had um yeah it's <laughs> just looking at the stock chart you can see uh, but 2018 was the last year where we didn't really have much going on. As you can see, the indexes were, were down a fair chunk if we go from the highs here. Um, you'd see that actually that year, uh, we had a over 15% dip, 
but like I said, at one point it was even 19. So 2018 uh, to the end of 2019 was a stock market where we didn't have much going on. Now actually what happened in this year is that through this year, um, this whole period, there was a lot of stocks that were growth stocks, small market caps that weren't doing amazing. But what you had in 2018 is you had a lot of your big tech, once again, having a very good year. And because of the big tech had a very good year, the indexes looked okay. So the indexes were up slightly, but a lot of stocks were down 20, 30, 40%, very much like this year. But what happened around September time is what happened is the big tech sold off. So a lot of the big tech here that was propping up the market in 2018, once we got to September time, boom, fell off. And that's where we had a really big drop in the share price. You can see 17% down in them last three months of the year. Now, because the big tech sold off, you had pretty much everything going down. And that's what propped up the stock market. Now, going back into what we've seen this year is, I mean, the run that we've been on is absolutely crazy. But what you're seeing, especially for this year, is the indexes look fantastic, but what are the things that are propping it up? It's the big tech. And going back to the question that Graham asked, what will happen if we have the big tech sell-off? Will that affect the growth stocks, small market caps, where they go even lower? And I'm looking at 2018, where we had something similar, and what happened is when then big tech sold off, is we actually had a lot of these small market caps, the growth stocks were down in that year, went even lower so i it's something that i am really considering here and this is one of the biggest risks that i do see out in the stock market right now what happens if we have the big tech sell-off how will grow stocks and small market caps react to that will they go lower potentially i think they could you would think that probably they would rotate back into these we'll see that could also happen but i am also considering that risk what would happen in that situation. So that is one thing why, personally for me, I am buying the dip at the moment, but it's one little factor that I am keeping uh, considering is that I am looking at these indexes and think, okay, imagine a five, 10 percent sell-off, could they rotate into small caps or growth stocks or could they sell off even more? And potentially they could sell off a little bit more and that's why I'm just being a little bit cautious. So to be cautious, what I'm doing is I'm keeping cash. I have been trying to keep a lot of cash up there. It's been very tempting to just go like absolutely crazy and buy all these dips that are out here, which I've been buying quite heavy. I'm not gonna lie, I've been buying a, stock, a lot of these stocks quite heavy, but I'm also being very careful on the cash balance, making sure I have a bit in case the worst situation happens and I just nibble, nibble, nibble. For me personally, I've been quite lucky because uh, only a few weeks ago, I actually sold off Tesla. Uh, so I sold off Tesla that hiked my cash pile up a good amount. And recently as well, I sold a 25% stake in um, my Tattoo Chef position, which then also gave me a lot of cash. I am also considering maybe selling another 25% off in that position, we'll see what happens. But because I sold uh, that stock and 25% of that stock, it really boosted my cash pile. So for me, I have basically reinvested all that uh, Tattoo Chef and the Tesla shares and burnt through the cash pile a little bit but I still have uh, over 10% in cash right now in case that happens so I'm just sharing this video with you just saying that this is one risk that I am weighing up and just that potential that okay what how would these small caps and growth st stocks react if there was a big sell-off in the indexes and that's something that I am weighing up so thanks to Graham that pointed that out in the live stream and that's just something that I'm sharing with you and hopefully it's a little bit useful and something to kind of another thing just to kind, kind of consider you know it might happen it might not happen but I'm just kind of potentially weighing up that if we had that situation and it happens I don't go oh I didn't realize that was going to happen I've been buying all the dip and now I've got no cash left so yeah I thought I'd just share that with you guys a little bit of a quick video on that thing that I'm considering one of the risks out there so yeah I hope the video was useful if it was hit like button and I will see you on the next video